Hey, what is happening? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Pokemon Life Platinum Rebirth. Uh, well, last episode, we uh, went through the uh, G uh, Gromant Desert. Or how we... Yeah, it was Gromant. Gromant Desert. Uh, made it to Gromant City, and uh, we found out that the gym leader isn't even in his gym, so that was great. Uh, we went through the museum, which was raided by, yep, yeah, you guessed, it was Team Steam. Uh, we battled one of their new, what well, looks to be one of their new admins, that was uh, the Eevee person. Uh, she had an SP on and an Umbreon, which was really fun. Uh, both were pretty easy, actually Sheila was a bit difficult. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, kind of just routed them out, and we just kind of just ended it off uh, after fighting uh, one trainer in Mount Ziri and one trainer, or actually I think two, two trainers in the uh, mines. Uh, now actually I didn't do anything off screen, as you can see, nothing has changed, I didn't even touch uh, Nexus, so uh, I'll be doing that uh, tomorrow after I, uh, well, after, after I get this one done, uh, which in this episode today we're going to be doing the mines and the gym, so yeah, so without further ado, let's do this. Alright, let's see here, so we got, uh, yeah, Popeyes is gonna be the, uh, uh, you know, we'll just do all of, and then we'll do, uh, Popeyes. Yeah, we did two trainers. I used this machine to move the big rocks. Cool. Okay. Uh, when I'm working in the mine, all my troubles disappear. I love this job. I do all that I can for my Pokemon. Where's that? You should only only use attacks that makes your Pokemon happy. I don't know if my Venusaur's happy using Razor Leaf. Beware of the mine's power station. You might get a big shock. It provides electricity to the entire mine. Yeah, mine power station hazardous. Hold on, let me use a repel just real fast. Just so we're not getting interrupted constantly by wild Pokemon. You have to be careful and watch your step. This mine can be very dangerous. Well, obviously, yeah. Scooper, that's nice. I'm ready to battle you with all my might. That was good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Every day I work in the, here in this mine, my Pokemon grows stronger. Oh my gosh, that's just crap money game. The first fossils found in this mine were that of an Aerodactyl, so the museum permanently features an Aerodactyl to represent the importance of this Pokemon to the mine and to the city. I believe that's the same dialogue as last episode. My work in Gremlin Mines is very difficult and it takes a lot of training and preparations. Okay, can you move out of the way please? Thank you. When I'm working in the... Okay, that's the same dialogue. Small Gaul, by the way, is pretty cool. Yesterday, I was working here, and I... And walking around... Yeah, I was working here, and walking around this mine, found a fossil. You want it? I don't have any use for it. That's a head fossil. That's, uh, for, uh, Cranius. Okay, that's the same dialogue. I helped... I helped to find some Kabutops fossils a few years ago. Nice. Okay, just move that out of the way. Miners can do anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stop wasting that. Yes, this is fine. Get plenty of damage. Gosh, I think it's hard. Okay. Uh, Popeyes. Another fossil, that's the. Uh, yeah, that one's shield on. Yep. A netball. <clears throat> Same dialogue. 
I'm looking for a good Laron to be my traveling companion. Laron's pretty cool. This mine is a perfect place to battle. No, it's not. Okay, that actually sucked. Why do I have no fighting missiles? This sucks. We'll do this. Uh, so I found a Jumbo. Yeah. I'm proud of my Pokemon team. They fought with great skill. This money game is pathetic. Uh, same dialogue. Yeah. Do that. Alright, same dialogue. The mountaineers always like always seer oh, oh, <laughs> always seek new battlegrounds like this place. Uh ashes. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, oh this is fine. And then I get into a word. Uh Popeyes. Rock Smash. That's not doing a lot. To keep your Pokemon happy and strong, give them protein. 2900, yeah, it's, look at that crap, like, the, the hikers give me so much money compared to these stupid Myers. I survived, bags full, gotta start it. No, I don't need this. Not give. It's such a useless item. Health, okay, that's the same dialogue. Same dialogue. I'll fight to, de uh, to defend my reputation as a miner. Alright, cool. Nacon, that's an interesting name. Okay, I took a lot of damage there. Jumbo. I like the way my Pokemon fought. Even if they lost, they showed skill and power. 400 everyone sucks. I gotta deposit more crap after this. Jeez. I just deposited I just deposited like a bunch of stuff out of my inventory. Okay, let me at least check this down here. There's nothing. So that was where I'm that is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Let's just make sure. You. First fossils. Uh, okay, I see some dialogue. All right, there's Atlas. Ipsis. Hey, are you crazy? Get out of here right now! It's about to explode. One, two, three, now! Very cool. It looks like, uh, Rampardos and, uh, Bastiodon. Incredible. Just incredible. These fossils are in perfect condition. Sorry, but when I use explosives in the mine, they're dangerous to anyone nearby. I hope you're okay. My name is Atlas, and I'm the Grumman City Gym Leader. Well, now that you've finished my, wait, now that I've finished my work here, I'll return to my gym. See you there, trainer. Okay, thank you. Pels of Egg War off. That barely lasted. Same dialogue. Another quick class. That's like my second one. Okay, so let's just speed out of here and uh, try to maneuver around these trainers. Move. Thank you. These repels don't last. I'm probably gonna have to encounter wild Pokemon in here, which is gonna really suck. Like this is really gonna slow the whole journey down. Please let me out. Please let me out. Okay, good. All right. Okay, 
We need a battle. Or not battle. Uh, we need to purchase crap. Oh, yes. Well, that's a lifesaver. Behind normal items. Thank you, game. Alright, good. And super pills. Nice. Cheap stuff. Finally, no high tier crap items. Like, goodness gracious, dude. <laughs> sure, high tier items are useful, but not when you have, like. Not when you're getting, like, barely 400 per win. Do you barely get any money? This is ground type. This is crap matchup. Uh, Jumbo and Olive are just gonna get massive experience here. Might even get to level 50 after this. Welcome to the Grumman City Gym. The leader Atlas uses ground type Pokemon. Hint, use water or grass type, which I have both. I don't believe you can go down. Oh, you can. Never mind. Yeah, you can battle these trainers down here. I work at the mines and have a lot of battling experience. Nice. That is not a ground type. Neither is that. If you think you're you can defeat Atlas with weak Pokemon like that, you're dead wrong. You mean weak Pokemon? You're the one who lost. Fighting an Atlas gym. Atlas's gym is a great honor for me, so I always give it my all. Okay, yeah, there's a ground type. We're gonna sweep right through this. Alright, same dialogue. Mountaineers have a lot of experience with the ground type. Or with the ground. That is not a ground type. Uh, sleep powder. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I will one shot it either way. I really liked fighting in the desert. My Pokemon are the strongest in, in the earth and sand. Alright, cool. So there's this top uh, portion. Or, not part, uh, top part, uh, bottom portion. And those are, I believe, the only, only trainers in the gym. Now it's just maneuvering around these holes. Oh no, there's still a couple. See how well you fight, pal. Okay, now my gosh darn Eevee. Is that? Okay, good. It's hard to believe that you fight this well, but Atlas is very strong. I hope so. On the final test in this gym, I'm its strongest trainer. Ignore the miner that's right above me. Anyways. You have so much potential. Your future is bright if you keep fighting. So how much is this recycled Pokemon in here? Looks like you were able to defeat four gym leaders. Let's see how strong you really are. Gosh, the same crap. Atlas, the leader of this gym, uses the power of the ground to fight. Yeah, I could have guessed. Okay, I love level 50 right now. I'm ready to battle. Hope so. And in fact, you weren't. Okay, that's the same dialogue. I believe this guy's signature is a uh, Grimpardus. Yeah, it is. Okay, let me quickly heal. Then I'll need to do that. And actually, this, it doesn't matter. This is fine. Actually, it makes it a lot easier. I want to heal really quick. Oops. And then we'll drop us. A safe state, because I always do that just before Dream Leaders, because you, know, you can never be too safe. Couldn't tell, I, I couldn't tell you how many times where I've caught myself actually, like, underestimating a gym leader and me getting destroyed. That that has happened quite a few times in Pokemon Blaze Blazed, where I underestimated uh, the grass gym leader, let I get, yet I get, like, almost swept. Oh, the guy was actually really tough. Keep in mind, I had multiple counters for that, that gym, like, almost 
almost all my Pokemon were good against that gym, and I still almost lost. Who do we have at what? Jumbo? Yeah, we're good. Um, we'll put it there. Welcome to the Grumman City Gym. They call me the Prince of Sand. The trainer uses ground Pokemon in the most powerful physical attacks in battle. But enough talk. Let's fight. He looks awesome. <laughs> he looks really, really awesome. He actually, he looks almost like a rival. Like, almost like a rival fight. Yeah, I like him. He's really cool. Alright. Exit drill. I believe this is, like, his second strongest there. The Koopa I remember that thing being annoying. Impertus. Playdoll. And that was a swept. Yeah, that was a, that was a sweep. I expected that. Jumbo is straight up overpowered. So... Your fighting style is impressive. You have a strong team of Pokemon. That's just pathetic money gain for a gym leader. Oh my gosh, can I just have like 2,000 from a gym already? Like, holy crap, like, barely getting 1,000 from these gym battles is honestly pathetic. Like, even Pokemon Blaze Glaze, I would be getting 1,000. I mean, dude, I'm barely getting anything. 900? Huh. Congratulations on your victory. As a reward, you... You've earned the fifth badge. Uh, yeah, fifth badge of the Ziri League. The Earth Badge. Sweet. Dark of the Earth Badge. With the Earth Badge, you can use HMO3 Surf outside of battle. I don't even have that. Being able to travel the oceans and sea seas will be very useful on your journey. In addition, I'll give you a special TM. I believe this Earthquake right here. This TM contains Earthquake, without a doubt the best ground attack in existence. Use it wisely. I will definitely do that. I don't even know if anyone can even learn it. Yeah, actually, can anyone learn this? Actually, quite a few. Xena is a really good one. Uh, same thing with Popeyes, because his physical attack is insane. Um, I'll save it for now, and I'll see if I'll see, um, I, I, I'm leaning towards either Popeyes or Xena. Um, definitely not Olive. Yeah, it's going to be one of these two, and also Gamma is really falling off. So, there might be a couple team changes off screen. I'm um, probably going to train up the Skarmory, because to be honest, Gamma is now starting to fall off kind of hard. So... Also, because he's, he's just a physical attacker, like, his special attack, I believe, is really crappy. Yeah, it's only 81. And the only, uh, a physical uh, electric move is Spark. That's the only physical electric move, uh, other than, like, Volt Tackle, and that's exclusive to Pic uh, Pikachu. So... Okay, so how much training do I have to do to the, uh, the Skarmory? A lot. Great. Okay, well, you know what, we'll do a, just, like, one trainer in the cave if we can. Okay, escape rope. Oops. Uh, yeah, whatever. This is actually a really good grinding spot. I'll probably do this with Eevee. This world would be a much better place if everyone helped to preserve our forest. Crap. Okay, we'll fight this hiker. And we'll wand it off. Uh, we'll just set up uh, Popeyes because he's lowest. 
Mount Ziri can be very dangerous if your Pokemon are low level. They're actually not that low leveled right now. I'll, I'm still part of the grinding though. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get one that like I, I might even be able to get into 50 to be honest. We'll see. Uh, we'll just do place kick, whatever. Croaker mm, Oak. Yeah, that was good. That's doing nothing. Okay, hold up. I need like a mock punch or something. You should train your Pokemon every day if you want them to achieve your full potential. That's what I do every day, yeah. Well, or at least most days. I more or less just do it every other day. I don't need a max repel. So actually, this is a really good grinding spot for uh, Popeyes because he's able to just straight up one-shot everything in here. Yeah, so that's going to be really easy grinding for him. Uh, for Skarmory, I'm probably going to have to rely on the desert to grind him grind him up. Um, and then once he gets strong enough, I'll um, turn him up in Mount Zero. Okay, say stay time. We'll keep this one nice and short. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, a uh, nice simple one right there. We uh, went through the mine all that tons of trainers terrible money gain uh, we did the ground gym um, battle of a whole bunch of trainers in there battle of the gym leader very easy complete sweep uh, got crap money gain again this money gain sucks <laughs> dude like barely 400 per win and not even getting a thousand from a gym leader gosh I will jeez still like I'm, I'm still like shocked at just how little money you get out of this game. Like, I'm surprised I'm even at 100k right now. It's because I'm conserving my money, like, a lot right now. That's why, like, you see me, like, running the Pokemon Center a ton in this game, as well as, uh, grinding a whole lot. It's because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose a whole bunch of money, so. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow in the next episode. Um, I will most likely have my Umbreon, and we'll uh, go through Mount Ziri, which is massive. Uh, it's basically like the the Mount Coronet of the game. So, yeah, it, it's it's gosh darn massive. So, it'll take me uh, probably the whole episode to get out of there, or get through there. Yeah, so, I'll see you on the next one.